Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time and today we'll be doing a skunk stripe body wave install. This one comes courtesy of Hermosa Hair. So let's get started. I fell in love with Ashley. Down in Miami we got nasty. I'm not ashamed, I'm not ashamed. Jumping right into it, this is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. As I mentioned, she is a 24 inch, 220% density body wave skunk stripe, blonde skunk stripe lace wig. Here is a look at the inside construction of the cap. I'm going to start off by prepping the wig. I'm going to add a little bit of foundation powder to the lace. Because this one has the blonde skunk strip in the front, I wanted to make sure that I made sure that it matched my hairline and my skin as best as possible. Here is what the wig looks like on. And as you guys can see, I'm just trying her on for a size, trying to see like my groove and what I wanted to do with her. Here is a detailed look at the back of the wig. As I did mention, she is 220% density and this one definitely did not disappoint. I loved how beautiful and how much sheen and body and just natural wave this wig has. So I'm going to play up on that natural style and just keep it as is. But you're going to see what I do to kind of jazz it up and make it even better in just a moment. For now, we're going to focus on the install. At first, I had flipped it to the opposite side and I realized this skunk stripe sits more so it's more so defined on this side so we're going to go with the left side which is my right side and i'm just defining the part going more so for a curved part making sure everything is perfect and then i'm going to go in with my dynamic duo which is my wax stick paired with the electric hot comb both from bdecbeauty.com linked in the description box and i'm just going to step out that parting as best i can this is a step that i don't skip out on and i love to take my time here and just make sure that everything is flat there's no bumps there's no lumps everything is smooth and just looking like i'm coming out of the salon once i'm done with that step i pull the hair back and i proceed to cut off all of the excess lace feel free to do anything you would like if you want to tint the lace you can do that if you want to tweeze the hairline you can do that all of the things you can do before you cut the lace i love to prep my wigs on a mannequin head but today we went straight for it for me i opted for no sideburns so you guys can see when i do no sideburns i more so will focus on cutting off all of the excess lace that kind of curves and hugs my earlobe this is going to help the wig to sit behind my ear that way when i install and we are doing a glueless install today um, I don't have to worry about like bonding down that sideburn because sometimes with me um, that lifts and it's a little bit harder for me to maintain that with a glueless install if you are someone who has a little bit extra time because you know I got a lot of kids um, I love 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 the way it looks when I do a sideburn again just on a day-to-day -day basis when it's time to take the kids out and about and get up at the crack of dawn to do you know the school thing and the mommy thing it's just hard to be able to get to you know make time for mommy to do my hair so doing this just makes it a little bit low maintenance now we're bonding the wig down as i mentioned we are going glueless but we are using the even product which you can literally use just a little bit of water and this will come right up leaving no residue and really not damaging the hairline at all I'm going to go ahead and also do the dynamic duo step along the front hairline. I want it to be as flat and flawless in the front and look as best and most natural as I can. And this step definitely helps. Also want to mention if you are blow drying or bonding your wig down, try to do it on a cool setting because that just helps the hairline to look a lot more flawless. When you use your blow dryer on heat or a hot setting, it tends to look a little bit more sticky and messy. Just a little tip. Now we're not going to do full baby hair, but I did just put a little bit to accentuate that parting on the side. And I am going to use this edge control from bdagbitty.com to go ahead and stamp it out. Feel free to do the whole Instagram baddie vibe where you use a mini flat iron to do this step but I felt like my um, 
edge control and my baby hair brush would do the job in making sure everything looks perfect i did miss a step with bonding the wig down so when you are bonding your wig down just be patient with yourself have grace for yourself everything won't be perfect on the first try always especially if you are a beginner or even intermediate i've been doing this for a while and i still make mistakes and i love the fact that with wigs you can always go back and make changes or fix your mistakes or you know whatever the case may be even after after I'm done with an install video for days and days and days I'm continuing to perfect whatever style I choose and you know just making it best for me and the day and all of that now I'm going in and tinting the lace a little bit more I did use a concealer along the parting and then a foundation powder along the hairline now you have to have a little bit grace and be a little bit more careful with this step because with blonde hair it sometimes or most time will look a lot more orange so off camera I did just take a wet rag and kind of removed a lot of that because again with this you really want to make sure that the product you use is very very cool tone because if it's warm in any way it'll look orange now I'm just going in and prepping the length of the hair I did use a mousse and a little bit of water and I did use the scrunch method to just kind of sort of body up or wave up the hair even more and when it dried up it was flawless okay girls so we are done with the look I decided to wet it down and go for more of a natural look now I loved this one way 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 more than I expected I knew I would like it because of course I selected this one with this company but I was kind of nervous of course about um, you know just how the color would look on me so while I do think I can add a little bit more color to the parting, one of the tricky things about blonde, especially 613 blonde, is that like tinting the lace to match my complexion while keeping that true 613 color is sometimes a little bit hard. As you guys know, I'm more of someone who likes to um, tint the lace at the very end. So I add like a foundation powder to go ahead and set it off. I love the thickness the density and the length on this one sometimes you will get a skimpy wig especially when there is something fun and dramatic going on with it and with this one they did not skimp out and I love that you can also curl this one again I just decided to do something fun you can also like pin it up I think that looks super fun lately I've been loving my insoles I don't know what it is but I just feel like they've been looking so pretty so it is still damp and again I know this one wasn't going to be like a super defined curly when I wet it but I just wanted the natural like grunge rock and roll look. I didn't want like curls if you will and I knew I needed to do something I didn't want to just leave it. This one here came from Hermosa Hair and this is their packaging and it was in this bag here and it tells me that this one is 613. Ooh, I can't read the writing so I have it linked down below but I think it's 613 and then just a natural color around the rest 13 by 4 is the dimensions of the lace the texture is body wave 26 inches in length and yeah I'll have all the other details the additional details in the description box also inside let's see what they gave us they did give us a pack of weight caps they did give us some lashes you guys know sometimes the glare and then they also gave us a wig band, which is what is pink. It's nice and cute. I really, really, really like that. So yeah, I love this one. It's a nice pop of fun color without going like the whole wig. The beauty in this one is that like you can buy a beautiful wig like this. You can rock it, rock it, rock it. And then when you get tired or bored, you can use a 613 section and you can go like red or orange or green. Like you can use this as a base and kind of watercolor this part to do a fun color. So I'm going to let you guys go. I had fun installing this one and I am recording on TikTok. I'm trying to get used to it. So you will see, I probably won't do it with every single hair tutorial just because like I'm in here sweating trying to keep up with the youngsters and TikTok and trying to film my traditional hair tutorial. But you know, we got to get up with the time. So make sure you are following me on TikTok. I'm Ashley B. Deck official over there. So thank you girls for sticking around with me this long in the video. If you have, go ahead and thumbs up and subscribe. Also check out the description box on your way out. And also check me out on TikTok again. Support your girl as I am trying to get it together over there as well. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!